Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open a two checkout account. So all you need to do is go to your screen browser and type in twocheckout.com, twocheckout.com. That is what you're going to type into your browser search bar, twocheckout.com. And it should bring you to a screen that looks just like this one. The next thing you're going to do is to tap on sign up for free, sign up for free, right? So you select the service that you want. You will see for digital goods, sell online, your software, online services, accept payments online anytime, anywhere. So we're going to tap on this sign up for free. All right, so it's going to get you to a page like this where you have to fill in your details. So you see, you're on your way to sell online globally. You need to fill in your details. And I'm going to do that shortly. So make sure you fill in your details correctly because they will be verifying this before allowing you to use their service. Okay, so I'm going to put in my business email. and a password, put in a password that you can remember. Okay, I'm going to put in my website here as well. Okay, and then select my country using the drop down. All right, so I will verify that I'm not a robot. And then I'll tap on get started. So when you've done that, it brings you to a page just like this, a screen just like this. Now you're going to select the type of products you want to sell with to check out. So you see digital products or software and software as a service, online services, retail or physical products, offline services and other. So if the products you sell do not fall in under any of these categories, you can simply select other, all right? So I'm going to select digital products because that's what I sell, right? So I'll tap on digital products. How do you want to handle sales taxes and risk compliance? I want to handle them in-house or I want to check out to handle them. So. This is your choice to make. I'm going to select that I want to check out to handle them and I'll tap on create accounts. All right, so it says, thank you for creating a two checkout account. Now I'm going to log into my created, my newly created account. Okay, so I'm going to put in my username and my password. So we're just going to tap on what is my username. If your account has been upgraded from the previous to check out admin, please log in using the same username. Otherwise, log in using your account email address, right? So I'm going to use the email address I used to open this account. And then I'll put in my password. And then I'm going to tap on sign in. All right, so it says, welcome Chinyere, let's get you started. Now I will tap on start activation, all right? So first step, activate your account. Second step, start selling. But before we move to the second step, of course, we need to activate our account. So I'm going to start activation. Just tap on start activation. Your selected pricing plan is to monetize. Before you start selling online, you need to read all of these things put in here. You can save for later or just simply go to next. 
So I'm going to put in my company name, just generally fill out all of these columns. So I put in my business type, I'm selecting individual because it's an individual business. I'm going to select my date of birth. All right, and then my national identification number, you should get that from your, your ID card. So I'll quickly go get it. Okay, so let me get my identification number. All right. This is it, one four five three five two six. Okay, and then I put in my phone number. Okay. And then you go on to fill your address, city address and everything else that is here. All right, and then you put in your zip code. And then go to next. Okay, so it says, tell us about your products or services. And then you can select your product or service category here, digital goods, which is what I selected at the earlier instance when we started opening this account. Have you processed online transactions before for this type of business? Then you choose the answer you put in there. Product access instruction for review. And then you put in the link to your products so that they can review your products and be able to determine whether you can use their services. They say, we need access to your product in order to understand what you sell and if relevant to test your product for compliance purposes. So I'm just going to put in a link to one of my products. All right, and then I'll go to next. And now we're going to go to account settings, payout method, what's your payout method? I'm going to use select Pioneer or PayPal depends on what is available in your country. PayPal, Pioneer, wire transfer. So you select, I'm selecting Pioneer. And then payout currency, I'm going to use USD. And then your Pioneer ID, you need to create a Pioneer ID here. You could just tap because I selected Pioneer, of course. If I select anything else, you will see that it changes. You see bank, you see bank account. If I select PayPal, of course, you see that it will demand my PayPal email address. So what you get here depends on the payout method that you choose. So I'm going with Pioneer, as I said, and I will need to create a Pioneer ID. So I'll just tap on here to create my Pioneer ID. All right. So it says already have a Pioneer account. Click here. I already have a Pioneer account. So I'm going to just go straight to that. Okay, so I'm signing into my account.
is asking for a code and I have received the code. So I'm going to put it in quickly. Tap on submit. All right, so you've added a new funding source to your Pioneer account. You may now receive payments from two checkouts to your USD balance. You see that my two checkout is now connected to my Pioneer, all right? So I'm going to tap on next. All right. This is where you need to upload all of your documents for them to be able to verify your identity and proof of everything else that you have put in to your application. So I'm going to tap on browse. The first is a valid government ID. I'm going to go to my and get a valid ID. All right, so it's uploaded, you can see it here. Valid proof of address, name, full residential address, and date of issue should appear on the document to be acceptable. You can use utility bills and bank statements, all right? And this should not be older than three months. So I'm going to use a utility bill. it okay i'm going to tap on open for it to upload here you can see that it's been uploaded now we'll scroll down if you have any other relevant documents that can help them determine whether they should approve your two checkout account this is where you're going to have to upload them so after you've done that you tap on next all right so this is a summary of what you filled out in your application, okay? And then you're going to submit this for verification. Now you see, thank you, you have successfully sent your activation form. We will review the information you provided and get back to you shortly. Please make sure to check your inbox for messages from vendor review at checkout.com for any activation status related updates, okay? So once you have filled out everything correctly, then you would receive this message and then you would be prompted to always check your email address for any further updates from to checkout. So when you're done, you just tap on finish and you are good to go. So you're going to wait for them to review your application and they will notify you of the status of your application in your email. You can view your application by tapping on the view application tab right here. Now you can take your time to go through the website just to familiarize yourself with the to checkout platform. Aside that, this is how to open a to checkout account. Very simple and very easy. If you have any questions, please drop your questions in the comment section below and someone will reach out to you shortly. Thank you for watching. See you in the next.